on to your nerves, AMC's The Walking Dead is just around the corner. Here's your recap from last season. Season 4 kicks off with Rick and his team finally getting into their stride. But a deadly contagious illness starts spreading throughout the entire prison. As they get the outbreak under control, the governor shows up with his tank army and two hostages to force Rick's group out of the prison. Rick tries to talk to the governor, but the jerk ends up beheading Herschel in front of everyone. This prompts a huge battle between the two groups. Everyone is forced to split up in order to survive. Silver lining though, the governor finally gets his. The gang splits up into five different groups. Group one, crazy Lizzie turns Mika into a zombie, so Carol has to do the unthinkable and kills Lizzie. I'm still recovering from that. Group two, Rick is in full survival mode and fends off a group of looters to save his son. Group three, Daryl and Beth. The two get drunk together and burn a house down. Later, Beth is mysteriously kidnapped. In group four, Maggie is determined to find her husband, Glenn. Sasha and Bob have their doubts, but ultimately choose to stick together. And group five, Glenn and Tara meet up with Abraham and his peeps, who are headed to Washington to try to save the world. But Glenn is hell-bent on finding Maggie. True love wins out as Glenn and Maggie reunite. The railroad tracks leads everyone toward Terminus. Maggie, Glenn, and their combined groups are the first to arrive at what seems like a sanctuary. Welcome to Terminus. Or is it? Rick, Daryl, and their group shows up next, but something seems off. Things get rowdy, and they all end up imprisoned in a boxcar together. But Rick makes it clear they're not going to take this lying down. They're going to feel pretty stupid when they find out they're screwing with the wrong people. You heard the man, and now you're ready for The Walking Dead Season 5.